Welcome to this ORCID quick tip video on setting up email templates in EFT processing. We will cover the following topics. First, should we use text versus HTML? HTML allows for more control on the formatting, for example, when you use doc list to add a list of transactions in the remittance advice or the direct debit advice. Text is easier to set up and ideal for a short message with all the content can be attached in an attached PDF with the option to configure a password on the PDF. In both cases, the way you set up the emails follow a similar process. You can include variables from AP vendor, AR customer, payroll employee, as well as transaction details. Use the F1 help in EFT setup email templates with a list of variables. You can refer to the Sage application object model for a complete list of fields. We'll look at a specific example about formatting dates and then we will have a closer look at some tips to use HTML as it is a more recent addition to EFT processing. Using HTML tag and looking at an example to copy and paste from the online HTML editor. Other email related topics that are not covered in this training video are using email templates in the print advice functionality, password protecting the attached PDF and how to build the formula and configuring SMTP details to send the email. A reminder that to use the email templates that you set up, you go to EFT report and choose EFT print advices for AP remittance advice or AR debit remittance advice and you choose vendor or customer in the delivery method and then the message ID can be selected from that screen. Similarly with EFT payroll when you select employee as the delivery method, you can then select the message ID here. To set up an email messages in EFT, you go to EFT setup email messages. And just a reminder that you also need to have access to the security group called EFT email message setup to be able to do this. So let's look at our first message called EFT payment, which is for AP remittance advice, giving it a description and then enter the email subject that's going to appear in the email. We can include variables in the email subject, the same variables that you can put in the email body. This example is a text message. As you can see, there is no HTML tag on it and it includes detail from the vendor, contact name, the payment date and dollar doc list, which is a list of all the documents that are paid in that payment, the invoices and credit notes that have been applied to the payment. And then we use the company name from the Sage 300 setup. So let's look at an EFT email example for AP payment. If we use the F1 help, we can get here access to a list of all the variables we can include starting with variables that apply to AP, AR and payroll advices relating to the company name, which means I can use the same template in various Sage 300 companies and the system date for the date the email is actually sent. I can break the year, the month and the date and have different options to format the month and the day so I can end up building the date in the format that is required for my company. I also have access to the variables I can use in an AP remittance advice that includes vendor details and we put vendor underscore in front of the field name and then payment variables including the payment underscore in front of the field name. There are two ways to include a field in an email template. In this example we have dollar vendor underscore contact, dollar payment underscore date. This works, but we can also include curly bracket instead of the dollar. And this is particularly useful when using HTML template as it means we have a clearer way of knowing when the field actually finishes with the closing of the curly bracket. So in this example, I may want to add the total amount of the payment or other field from the APTCR table. I can add my total amount here and I might want to add another field. If I'm not sure of the field name, I can use the Sage 300 object model. 
that is available from the runtime Appack View Info EXE that you can add to your desktop. And in this example, I'm going to add the code currency or the payment code to my email template. In the help, I also have access to some sample email messages in both text and HTML for AP payments, AR direct debit advices, and EFT payroll advices. Once I have saved my messages in a company, either a test company or one of my companies, I can come here, export all my templates. And the main thing to note when exporting and importing EFT email messages is that you have to include all those fields that are called body, body 1 to body 10. So in this sample, I can copy and paste from the help. And as you can see, in the HTML email, I need to start and end with my HTML tag, as here. And if I want a line break, I need to make sure that I've got my paragraph mark and my end tag there. The EFT email template is not actually an HTML editor. So what we suggest you do is use one of the multiple HTML online editors that you can find. For example, this one, html-online.com editor. The right hand side, you can start with pasting the HTML sample codes that we have. So you can see here how it's going to look like in HTML. So you can see, for example, we've put the company name in bold. So I can change this to be italic and it's going to update the HTML code on the right hand side. Copy the HTML source code that is here and put it inside the HTML tags. Open HTML, close HTML at the bottom, in between you can put whatever you want. Valid HTML code. So we've looked at some HTML emails in EFT. You're you must start with HTML tag and end with the HTML tag and you must make sure that you use your line break around each line. Doc list is automatically formatted in a table so it will be better aligned especially if you have some short and long and empty descriptions and you can use an online editor to build your HTML code and paste it into the EFT email editor. In summary we've looked I've had to set up email templates in EFT, including variables from AP vendor, AR customer, payroll employee, as well as transaction details. Looking at the F1 help to see the list of variables we can use, as well as sample email messages that you can copy and paste, and referring to the Sage application object model for some additional fields. Formatting dates by breaking the dates into their month, day, year components and assembling them in the order that is required for your templates. Using HTML tags and copying and pasting from online HTML editor. Other email relating topics that are included in the date detailed EFT training video include how to actually use the email templates in the print advice functionality, password protecting attached PDF and configuring SMTP details to send the emails. Thank you for watching and for more information you can look at the EFT processing product page on the website with more training videos on the module.